All right, this is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 16, and we're going to be solving word problems. And we are going to be using those tape diagram things to, in order to help us understand the problem, let alone being able to actually multiply fractions. So let's get started. So in this problem, it says Anthony bought an 8-foot board, and then he cut off 3 quarters of the board to build a shelf, and then he gave a third of the rest, and that's going to be the key phrase, a third of the rest to his brother. How many inches long was the piece that Anthony gave to his brother? Okay, so we're going to start by drawing a tape diagram. Woohoo! And so here's our tape diagram. And it says he cut off three quarters of the board to build a shelf. So let's draw our three fourths. So here's our three-fourths for the shelf. And then here's the one-quarter that's left over. And it says he gave one-third of the rest to his brother. So that means he gave one-third of one-fourth. So if I wanted to, I could zoom in and say, all right, he gave one third of one-fourth to his brother. So this much right here gave to brother. So now the question is, well, what fraction is that? Well, we could do math, and we could do one-third times one-fourth, because we're doing one-third of one-fourth. So one way to do that is we could say one-third of one-fourth and do the math, get one-third times one-fourth and that equals one-twelfth, alright? But another way we could do it is just using logic. Let's zoom back in and say, well, if this unit, this big black unit right here, was cut into three pieces, well that means this unit is going to be cut into three pieces, this unit is going to be cut into three pieces, and this unit is going to be cut into piece uh, three pieces. So that means we're going to have 12 little units all together. And out of those 12 little units, his brother was given one of those little pieces right here. So that's one out of 12. So we could use logic and get that answer. So parents, teachers, today the, the theme isn't necessarily getting the right answer in the right way, the real que the theme of today's lesson is um, learning how to understand the problem, learning how to model the problem, and how to get the right answer, let alone getting it the right way. So we're just right now interested in um, learning how to just understand the problem and get the answer. So now, but we're not done. So we know that one-twelfth of this whole thing was given to his brother. But the question says, how many inches long was the piece Anthony gave to his brother? So we know that originally this whole thing was eight feet. But we want to know how many inches was given to his brother. So the first thing we need to do is eight feet times twelve inches that's going to equal 96 inches because there's 12 inches in each foot. So 8 feet times 12 is equal to 96 inches. So the brother gets 1 12th of 96. And this is a problem that looks like uh, stuff we learned a while back. And this is going to equal 1 12th times 96. And that's going to be 1 times 96 over 12. And that equals 96 over 12. And now 96 over 12 can be simplified. So we know that they can, both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by, oh, well, they could both be divided by 4. So that equals 24 over 3. And then we can see that, oh, 24 and 3, both of those are divisible by 3. 
So now we've got 8 over 1, and 8 over 1 is equal to 8. So that means the brother gets 8 inches of wood for his art project. Now here's a doozy, but it's not all that hard. It says Riverside Elementary School is holding a school-wide election to choose a school color. Five-eighths of the votes were for blue. Five-ninths of the remaining votes were for green. So the key is of the remaining votes. And then the remaining 48 votes were for red. Now the first question is how many votes were for blue? Well, let's model it first. So originally it says five-eighths of the votes were for blue. So let's draw our tape diagram. And we're going to chop that up into eighths. And we see that five-eighths were for blue. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So this here, five-eighths is blue. Okay. Now, that means that we have these three units left over right here. So these three units are left over, and it says five-ninths of the remaining were green. So that means five-ninths, but we only have three units. And five-ninths means you're supposed to have nine units. So I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to use my green, and I'm going to cut this into nine little pieces. So I'm going to go, okay, boom, 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 boom. So there's my nine little units. And we're told that five-ninths of the remainder, right? It says right here, five-ninths of the remaining votes were for green. So that means when I zoom in, Five ninths, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So from here to here, five ninths of remaining is green. And now I'm going to shade in these little five pieces to represent the green. So that's that. And I'm going to kind of highlight this so that we can see that five out of those remaining pieces are voted for green. Now let's zoom out. And then it says, and the remaining 48 votes were red. All right, it says right here, the remaining 48 votes were red. So what does that mean? Well, that means these remaining pieces right here represent 48 red votes. Alright, so that means if these four units, these four little units represents 48, well that means 48 divided by 4 which equals 12 means that each of these tiny little units right here represents 12. 12. 12 and 12, and that's how we get our 48 red votes. Well, if each of those tiny little ones is a 12, that means this guy right here is 12. This guy right here is 12. Oh my goodness, I could barely squeeze it in there. Okay, that guy is 12, this guy is 12, and this guy is 12. All right. Now the key thing I want you to see in all this color that right here is one of those original black units. And then so these three little green ones from here to here so three little units is equal to one of those big black units. So this is really equal to 36 and 36 and 36 and 36 because it takes three of those little green units of 12s 
right? These three little units uh, of 12s to equal one of those black fractional units. And so now we can zoom out. Whoa, we could zoom out. And so the question is, how many votes were for blue? Well, the blue is 36 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 36 times 5. So 36 times 5 equals 180 votes for blue. Votes for blue. Whoo! That was a doozy, but it wasn't really all that hard. What The big key thing that we learned is that by zooming in, when we got down to this piece right here, we learned that it was three little units and that these, nope, yeah, three little units plus this one here. So that's actually four little units. So these four little units represented 48 votes. And that means three units of red equals one of those original eighths, I believe it was. Yeah, eighths. And so you can, working your way backwards, you can end up seeing that each of these was worth 36. And that is how we got our vote of... 180 people voting for blue. Now the question is, how many votes were for green? Well, you can see right here that green is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 12 times 5. So green is 12 times 5. So I can just do 12 times 5, and that equals 60. So 60 votes for green. Whoo-wee! That's a doozy. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 16, where we are solving word problems using tape diagrams to continue our practice and our study of multiplying fractions.